Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is take a quick look at the new DNS records setup inside of Unify. So uh, I am running Unify OS 4.0.6 and I am running Unify Network Application 8.3.32. So 8.3.32 has been out for about 12 days. There's a bunch of changes. I'm going to do some little snippets uh, over the next few days to talk about that. And the DNS, I believe, was actually added before 8.3.32, but it is one of the things that I want to take a look at because it has been asked for. So here we are. We're in my UDR. We're going to go to routing. And then it is weird to have DNS live under routing, but I guess it doesn't fit anywhere else i mean maybe they could do it under networks i don't know we'll see for now dns lives under routing and dns now typically just an a record or a, a quad a which uh if you don't know so uh host uh record here uh standard a record host record is for ip version 4 and host a a a a a is the ip version 6 record now, it's interesting because um, what they've done is we can do host. Now, uh, alias or C names that are coming soon. We can do mail uh, or MX records, text records, service records, and we can do uh, domain forwarding. So, and what domain forwarding does is if we hit a certain domain name, we can pass that off to a specific DNS server. So, host is just host name, IP, uh, custom TTL. If we undo that, we can do one second to 86,400 seconds. I typically set mine at 60 seconds. We can do the same thing for uh, the IP version six host, MX record. So when you do MX records, you have priorities and typically you'll see them set at like 10 and 20, right? So if it's a, a 10, it's gonna try to send email to that MX record first and then uh, 20 would be the next one in line. We've got text records, so if you've ever set up like sender policy framework records, that goes in here. Uh, your DMARC records, things like that would go in here. Service records go in here. And then, of course, domain forwarding. So I thought it was very interesting that they added all of those besides just the, the host record. I think, for the most part, host record would have sufficed because... Um, Internally, I don't know that I am interested in an MX record. I mean, I could be. Somebody put it down in the comments for me, the use case for having a uh, an MX record that's internal. Now, the other thing is, I'm sure that we could probably go ahead and expose the port 53 on this UDR to the outside world, but I don't know if we're ready for that. We'd have to do some testing and uh, make sure that we're not causing any issues by doing that. So let me know how you're using this. I'm going to use the, the host records, you know, so I'm going to do uh, buildaboat.willyhow.com. I'm going to do uh, 192.168.66.234. I'm going to add that. So now you can see that this is provisioning. And so uh, buildaboat.willyhow.com should now be... 66.234. Let's open up a command prompt. We'll do an NS lookup, build a boat.willyhow.com, and we'll make sure that we're going to the UDR. And there it is. It is working appropriately. So let me know your use case for this outside. Well, let me know what you're doing for uh, A records. Let me know if you're using the other types of records here. I, uh, I think internally, um, if you don't have a DNS server, I think that the A records are probably the most appropriate use case. But let me know what you're thinking down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you'd like to have an actual DNS server set up, 
uh, you know, instead of using your UDR or any other things that are voice over IP networking, security, storage related, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's right there on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also go on over to community.willyhow.com, sign up, share your knowledge, ask questions, join the community. We're building a great community over there. Uh, we've got a good solid core of folks. Come on over. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.